Hello, I'm Guy Evans. Welcome to my home museum. So today's object is a souvenir from the hot Cambrian seas of more than 500 million years ago. It's a trilobite fossil. Hundreds of millions of years before the first dinosaur hatched, these amazing early arthropods, creatures with um, jointed legs, roamed the oceans. They resembled a kind of uh, marine woodlouse, but they were actually distantly related to today's horseshoe crabs. And they were very diverse. We know of some 20,000 species that existed. There were ones much smaller than this, and the largest trilobites may have been 45 centimetres long, weighing four and a half kilos. So some species crawled along the sea floor and burrowed in the sediments. Others swam in open water, and some may even have made, them onto, made it onto land. Now, when they were threatened, some of them were able to roll up into a ball, curling round like a pill bug, like a pill woodlouse. Now, it's their eyes that were very special because their eyes were a honeycomb of calcite crystals and lenses, quite unlike any other animal's eyes. We think that they may have been super sociable because we found some mass fossilizations. But they died out with 90% of all life on Earth at the end of the Permian in the biggest mass extinction event in history, 250 million years ago. But they'd lived for 300 million years. That's twice as long as the dinosaurs. And it's a thousand times longer than our species has been alive. There were so many of them and they fossilised so well that trilobites have turned out to be excellent markers of the Cambrian period for um, geologists because we can date rock layers by their fossils. But many trilobite fossils are not actually the animal. They're one of its husks the discarded shell of a molting. Now the fossils may be fairly common, but they're still special. Native American people living in present day Utah, which is very rich in trilobite fossils, kept them as protective charms and amulets because they believed they held special powers. And people still collect them today, like me. <laughs> this one has been extracted from its rocky nest and it's been cleaned and polished. But its value is not so much in its appearance, although I think it's very pretty, but in its age. This is a time traveller. It's evidence of another world, when life on the planet was almost entirely aquatic, when the continents were in different positions. This is a world before anything even beginning to resemble us existed. And humans understand this. We know that there was a time before we were born, even before our species was around. And we can look at this fossil and understand our place on a time scale that stretches back 13.8 billion years to the Big Bang. It makes us quite unlike any other creature.